Let's find out how the compressor effect works in OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS is live streaming software for Windows PCs. If you'd like to grab a copy, go to mrc.fm forward slash slobs. I'm going to show you the compressor effect inside Streamlabs OBS. It's exactly the same in OBS, by the way. If you want to learn more about all the effects included with OBS and Streamlabs OBS, go over to mrc.fm slash learn to discover more about my live stream audio course. So, uh, first of all, I need to make sure audio is coming through on my microphone slash auxiliary channel by making sure mute or unmute is unticked there. There we go. There's my audio. Okay. So that's coming through at a reasonable level. Usually you want to be in the yellow zone, which is perfect. In fact, not quite in the yellow zone. So what I might do now is add on some effects, including a compressor. So we click the cog next to the audio device we want to work with inside the mixer, and we click filters over here. And this is where we can click the little plus icon now and choose the audio filter we want to add. Now, there are loads of other things, including VSTs. You can go down a real rabbit hole with VSTs. Uh, cover more of that in my course, but let's focus on compressor. Now, this compressor is exactly the same in Streamlabs OBS as it is in OBS Studio, which is brilliant. Even the same default settings when you add it, uh, which I personally think these default settings are pretty terrible. So you'll want to change them. First of all, for voice processing, if you're doing this on your microphone, I suggest a ratio of no more than three, okay? Three to one, three to one ratio. Threshold, uh, it really depends how loud your initial audio signal is coming in at. Uh, so if you're coming in uh, really, really quiet, you're going to need to move this threshold right the way down for it to work. But you'll see as I do that, my audio goes super quiet there in uh, OBS. So usually a happy medium, if you've got a relatively loud signal, would be around minus 20. In fact, I can't quite get it there, so I'm going to manually type in minus 20 as my threshold. Uh, tax, I always like to put down uh, to the lowest possible number. That's how quickly you want that compressor to kick in and compress your signal. So essentially you're compressing any loud parts and evening out the signal so that people can hear what you're saying a little better. Uh, release is good at 60 milliseconds. Usually I like to have around 50 there. And the output gain is something you'll probably need to increase once you've got some compression going on because it's pushing down some of the loud signals. You're kind of almost evening out the audio signal, but you want to then make sure it's a little bit louder. So I'm going to push that up a little bit louder. There you go. Oh, you can see it's tickling the red now too loud. So down we go into the yellow, about a 9 dB boost. And that is a pretty sweet uh, compressor setup there in Streamlabs OBS. Would work exactly the same in OBS. And something a little more advanced that I might go into in detail, as it will require a tutorial of itself in the future, is sidechain ducking. It allows you to use a compressor essentially to duck another source when you speak. So if you had gameplay music, if you had uh, background music, whatever, you can link this up through sidechaining. It's a very complex process, so definitely another tutorial needed for that. And uh, duck the audio source, but really, really cool stuff. So enjoy compressing your audio. You definitely should be if you're live streaming. And if you want to learn more about getting your live stream audio to sound its best, go over to mrc.fm learn right now. Oh.